The Essence delivery finally came through, so let's review the most recent Essentials drop. If you're new here, I'll have to do a full review of the entire Essentials drop, so there's timestamps below to skip ahead to the part that you're most interested in, but I always recommend watching the entire video. And also, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, leave a thumbs up on this video, and let me know down in the comment section below if you picked up anything from the most recent Essentials drop. First up, we have all of the colorways. Let's see what dropped. First up, we have Cloud Dancer. Now, from a distance, this does look like a pure white, but closer up, it's more of a creamish off-white hue. Next up, we have Silver Cloud. As you guys can see in the close-up here, it looks like a light beige. Next up, we have Core Heather. As you guys can see in the close-up right now, it is similar to the beige, but a heathered version of it. Next Next up, we have another heathered colorway. This one is called Gold Heather. As you guys can see in the close-up, it's a little lighter in comparison. Now here's all four colorways together in my order of preference. Up top, we have Silver Cloud, then we have Core Heather, then we have Cloud Dancer, and finally, my least favorite color is the Gold Heather. Here's another close-up of all the colors stacked together. As you can see, we have a nice neutral color palette that's perfect for the fall season. Now let's talk about logos real quick. This collection is more minimal in comparison to a larger Essentials branding that we saw in previous collections. So if you're looking for that huge Essentials Fear of God spell out, then this might not be the collection for you. Most of the collection actually features this small Essentials Fear of God logo on the front. Similar to previous collections, we have that rubberized raise a clique lettering for the logo. Now comes the part where you guys are most interested in, which is the try on portion. Before I try anything on, here are my dimensions. I am 5'5 five five and 135 pounds and I have a slim build. Usually, I wear a size small in t-shirts, and when it comes to any type of pants, I wear a size 30 waist or a size small. Now, in terms of individual sizing, I will mention that as I try that specific piece on, and I'll mention the price as well, and recommendations on going true to size or sizing down. First up is the classic The Essentials hoodie. This costs 135 Canadian dollars and the colorway is Core Heather. Now here's the thing about this item, I am not a fan of the scuba neck at all. If you're going for this item, go true to size so you can actually fit your head through the piece. And I'm telling you guys right now, my fitted size is six and seven eighths. So if you have a larger head, this might be a bit of a struggle for you. Overall, the fit one size down is perfect in my opinion. It fits like previous collections. It's slightly oversized, but it's still a little bit tapered towards the bottom. So it cinches around the waist. And that's honestly the ideal look in my opinion for this piece. Aside from the scuba neck, everything else is great. But if you're not a fan of the scuba neck material like the previous collection, I would recommend skipping this piece. Next up is the knit polo in a size extra small and this came in at 165 Canadian dollars. The colorway for this piece is Silver Cloud and honestly this is my favorite piece out of the entire drop. Similar to the knit crewnecks from previous collections we have that nice oversized fit to it and the material will stretch out and become loose over time so I highly recommend going at least one size down on this piece so when it does stretch out it has a nice flattering oversized look and it doesn't look worn out. Now in terms of the collar spread, I feel like it looks great open and closed. This particular piece only features a one button collar. This is a piece that you can definitely wear on its own or layer nicely as well. One of my favorite things about the knit polo is that it has no branding on the front, just a fear of God logo on the back. So you really can't tell that it's from the Essentials collection and that's one of my favorite things about it. Not to say that there's anything wrong with an Essentials item versus fear of God, but if you own mainline pieces, then this will transition very nicely to an outfit integrating both Essentials and Fear of God together. Next up, we have the crew neck in a size extra small, and this piece came in at 125 Canadian dollars. The colorway for this item is Silver Cloud. Unlike the previous collection, the mock neck isn't extremely exaggerated, so it looks more like a regular crew neck in comparison to the previous season. If I had to choose between the hoodie and the crew neck, I would definitely recommend the crew neck any day of the week. I personally like the fit of it, it's very similar to the hoodie, going one size down gives you a slightly tapered look, but it's still oversized in all of the right places. Everyone needs a nice comfy sweater for the season, and if you're looking for a good crew neck, then honestly this is a great one to integrate into your fall and winter wardrobe. In terms of fit, there's no updates to it, it's similar to the previous hoodies and crew necks from other collections, just the mock neck isn't as exaggerated as I previously stated. Next up is the Essentials t-shirt in a size extra small and this came in at 60 Canadian dollars. The colorway for this one is Cloud Dancer. Now this particular piece is very oversized so if you want to go two sizes down then I'm sure you're going to be okay for this particular piece. If you're not a fan of oversized clothing then this item is probably not for you. It certainly isn't for me and I'm going to say that right now. I am going to be returning this piece 100%. In comparison to the previous collection, we don't have an extremely exaggerated mock neck, 
is more of a structured crew neck look. This has even more exaggerated drop shoulders than previous collections and the sleeves are extremely oversized. I'm not talking about Uniqlo Airism T oversized. Those are oversized and they still look fine in my opinion, but these are extremely oversized sleeves. And as you can see as well, my waist and where the t-shirt ends is in two different places. It's not even close. If you're a shorter individual like myself, then I would recommend either cropping this piece or skipping it altogether and saving your money for an older collection or just buying a different piece that actually might look good on your frame. Next up, we have the long sleeve tee in a size extra small and this came in at 80 Canadian dollars. The colorway you guys are seeing on screen right now is gold heather. Just like you guys saw with the t-shirt, this piece is extremely oversized. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because it's the same talking points as the t-shirt. It is extremely oversized. Go two sizes down. This piece is not for shorter individuals. This will definitely be returned. The final top that you guys are seeing on screen right now is the tank top in a size extra small. This came in at 50 Canadian dollars and the colorway for this particular piece is Cloud Dancer. Now Essentials pieces are unisex and I did pick this up from the men's section but this particular piece does have a women's tag on it if that is something that concerns you. As you can see, it is extremely fitted on me. Would I go outside in this particular piece? Probably not. I would size up to at least a size small on it, but in general, I'm not really walking around the streets in just a tank top. This piece also features a split hem, which is a nice little attention to detail that they added to this particular piece. It also features the Essentials branding in the center of the tank top. Now this piece definitely shows off the gym gains, but it's just not for me. Maybe it's for you, so it's a piece that you might want to consider. That's why I'm still leaving it in today's video, because I picked it up and I want to share it with you guys. First up for the bottoms, we have the Essential Sweatpants in a size extra small, and these came in at 130 Canadian dollars. The colorway for this particular item is Silver Cloud. Since these are more on the relaxed side, I definitely recommend going at least one size down in them, so they still fit you in the waist, but you get a nice structured look to them. They're not going to be tapered, so if you're looking for tapered essential sweatpants, you're going to have to go back a few collections for those. These are on trend with the baggier silhouettes, and they look great in my opinion. Now, these sweatpants do feature an elastic cuff at the bottom. They are not open, so that is something to keep in mind. As you guys can see, I've left one elastic cuff exposed, and I've tucked one in. Personally, I would tuck in the elastic cuff if I was wearing these sweatpants. Now the drawstrings are rope laces on these particular sweatpants, they're no longer the flat laces. I personally liked how the flat laces looked in comparison to the rope laces. It's just a personal preference, so that's something to keep in mind if you're very particular about the drawstrings on these sweatpants. One thing to keep in mind is that the sweatpants still have the exaggerated long drawstrings, it's just the material that's changed. And finally for the bottoms, we have the essential sweat shorts in a size extra small. And these came in at 105 Canadian dollars. The colorway you're seeing on screen right now is Core Heather. Now these are just standard sweatshorts in my opinion. There's nothing too crazy about them. If you're wondering the inseam or the length of them, they're above the knee. So if that is not your personal preference, then these are probably not for you. You can probably go true to size to extend the length of it. I went one size down with an extra small. That's because the elastic waistband is forgiving. So I usually size down one for a more fitted look. It is not as baggy in comparison to the sweatpants, but they do have a nice relaxed look to them. Now, just like the sweatpants, they do feature row places instead of the flat laces. So if that is a personal preference for you, keep that in mind when ordering this particular item. Overall, it's a very nice and simple piece to add to your Essentials rotation. And we also have the Essentials logo on the left leg, similar to the sweatpants. Now that we've tried everything on, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on the entire collection. In terms of the color palette, I feel like it was executed perfectly for this season. I feel like it's going to transition great into the fall and winter months. Now, when it comes to Essentials, it's more likely to expect new shades versus new colors. So I personally like the shades offered this season. If you like that heathered look, then this collection is definitely for you. Now let's talk about fit and sizing. When it comes to sizing, I honestly don't know who Jerry uses for a sizing reference for the entire collection. It's all over the place. The t-shirts are extremely oversized. Now I understand oversize is his thing, but there's oversize and then there's just baggy. These t-shirts were just baggy. It wasn't even oversized. It was just too large. And that's a whole different aesthetic from wearing an oversized piece. I wish the t-shirts were a little more fitted and a little more structured, especially with the length on the extra small and the extra extra small. Unless you're six feet tall, those pieces aren't going to be hitting your waistline at all. I just have to accept that those pieces weren't made for an individual like me and mine, and that's okay. I'm not the target audience of those specific pieces. 
Now, when it comes to the rest of the collection, honestly, it was well executed and it fits very similar to previous collections. One thing that I do appreciate is that the exaggerated mock necks were lowered to more of a regular crew neck this season, and that's something I really do like, and that's more of my aesthetic. However, I'm still not a fan of the scuba necks. They just don't fit right. It's really hard to actually put the piece on itself, especially if you size down. I was struggling this entire video getting the hoodie on and off, so I'm definitely returning that piece. I'm not a fan of the scuba necks. You might be. Personally, they're not for me, and I think the general direction that most people are going is hoping for the regular necks back on the hoodies in comparison to the scuba necks. They're just not a fan favorite for a lot of people out there. But it's the direction Jerry wants to go in. It's his pieces, it's his clothing, so that's what he wants to do. Now, when it comes to the logo, the minimal stuff is good in my opinion, especially if you own Fear of God and Essentials pieces. It's easy to integrate them together into one outfit, and it's more cohesive in my opinion. If you're someone who owns mainline only, this might be an issue for you because you want to stand out from the crowd that wears Essentials pieces. Especially for items like the knitted polo, those are really hard to tell between Fear of God and Essentials because the back tag does say Fear of God now. It's a great thing in my opinion and a nice direction they're heading in if you're a fan of the larger logos and unfortunately this collection just isn't made for you. Go back to the past and buy some larger branding logos. This is more in that minimal direction at the moment. Overall, the quality of these pieces varies on each individual item. They're decent. There are some loose threads here and there. When it came to knitted items, there was already some pilling going on. So that's something that is not great when you're buying a new piece that's over $100, especially in today's market. If you're spending over $100 for anything, I know you want it to be perfect. I know I would. So it's something to keep in mind. It's not going to be perfect, perfect right out of the bag. And if you're someone who's very picky or particular like me, that's just something to keep in mind. Now, overall, it's a great collection. And as I've stated in the past, these are essential pieces, meaning that essential items that you can add and integrate into your existing wardrobe. You don't have to get everything like I showcase in the videos. Most of the items do end up getting returned because I do not like the fit of it. I just want to experiment and try it. So don't think I'm keeping every single item that I display in today's video. I say that because as a creator, I want to be a little more responsible and transparent in terms of my spending habits with you guys because you don't always have to buy something new and always be spending money to keep up with the latest trends. Most of the items are being returned. The two standout pieces for me was sweatpants and a knitted polo. So those are two items I'm considering integrating into my existing wardrobe because it'll transition in nicely with pieces I already own and I won't have to buy new things to accommodate those particular pieces to make outfits. So you don't have to buy everything that your favorite creator shows off in a video. Save up for particular pieces you like. If you don't like a piece, you don't have to buy it to keep up with the latest trends. Save for something else that might be dropping a little bit near in the future, or go back to previous collections and pick out a piece that really excited you or was something that you were looking forward to getting. Another great thing is that Essentials isn't overhyped, meaning that some of the pieces do end up on sale and sticking around till the end of season. So look out for those Black Friday sales on particular pieces and end of season sales to pick up most of these items for a relatively affordable price in comparison to the original retail price. And that's it for today's video, guys. Unfortunately, the items were a little delayed in shipping, so it's not usually uploaded a few days right after the drop happens, but I think a majority of the pieces are still available on Essence last time I checked. Hope you guys still enjoyed today's video. I always appreciate you guys watching. And if you're still interested in watching more videos today, then click out one of these two ones linked over here for you guys. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.